I feel that people with nine to five jobs aren't appreciated enough, and I am about to appreciate the hell out of you. Five reasons to love those who have a nine to five job. Number one, you are the backbone of our financial society. Now, everybody dreams of being an entrepreneur and making millions of dollars and starting their own business. And when they die, leaving legacy for their friends and their family to build upon. But what we do not pay attention to is when we start our own business, we're going to need to staff that business. And how you staff that company? Typically, you hire nine to five workers who in turn become the backbone of the company that you dreamt of building. Without those nine to five workers, without those people that punch in and punch out and only have a 30 minute break every single day, we would not have this place we call Earth to be able to operate to create these billionaires and these multi-millionaires who are getting all the credit and runs these companies. To all you nine to five traditional job having people, I appreciate you, I thank you, and I love you. Number two, without the nine to five job havers, we wouldn't know the blessing and the greatness of a weekend. Nobody understands the value of having time off than those that don't get time off when they feel like it. But when you have a person working hard to survive five days a week, Monday through Friday, then they get to punch out on that, that Friday at 5 p.m. They know they get to go home that night, wake up on that Saturday, get lit, get lit all Sunday. Then Sunday evening start to wind down because they know they got to do it again on Monday. Those people give you the joy from pain. Those people show you the sunshine from rain. Those people show you how how to work towards the end of a goal. If you've never seen the light at the end of a tunnel, talk to one of your nine to five having friends. They are going to tell you how and show you how and teach you how to appreciate what's coming rather than what's going. Number three, that retirement that you're working towards is being paid for by those nine to five workers. You've been at a company long enough to see retirement coming. You start thinking all the work you've put in. You think about all the sacrifices you have made. You think about 20, 30 years of just waking up, going to that job and telling yourself, one day I'll be able to not have to do this. Because you and hundreds of other people in your company that's working 9 to 5, 8 to 4, 30, 7 to 3, 30, y'all have contributed towards that retirement fund. Is the reason that you're able to enjoy the light at the end of that tunnel. And I'm not talking about the light in the sky. I ain't talking about you work till you die, you skip the retirement, you go straight to Jesus. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you being able to enjoy 25, 30 years of your retirement because you and your co-workers have put into that. Without those benefits being put towards retirement, retirement wouldn't be possible. If everybody made a salary, nobody would be contributing to that pot. Everybody wouldn't be saving like y'all are. So without the nine to five, retirement probably wouldn't be possible. Number four, if somebody is going to be there for you after the work hours it's your nine to five buddies but to have a nine to five work buddy that's like being in a foxhole that's the person that's gonna ride for you probably die for you cry for you and if you get caught up they gonna lie for you definitely for the women out there that don't get treated right at home when they go to work at nine o'clock they know they work husband gonna have them flowers their favorite meal they candy they coffee they water for the men out there when they go home their wife always in a muumu shirt with ketchup stains and hot sauce stains and they have in a t-shirt wrapped up when you go to work, you know your work wife gonna have her hair done. She's gonna be smelling like Chanel perfume and she gonna give you every kind of attention that you need that's respectful and appropriate, but they are going to be there for you. People that have nine to five jobs have relationships and friendships like no other. We need to love and appreciate our fellow compadres and our work madres who gives us that support. So thank you. And number five, the nine to five worker will show you the value of commitment when nobody is committed to you. Imagine not having your own business. Imagine waking up and having to go to a job where it's not guaranteed every day. Imagine waking up and having to go to a job where the job in the company itself is not guaranteed to be there the next day. But imagine loving that job and being so committed to the people inside that building that you wake up, you get dressed, you make a conscious choice every single day to go punch in. And you make a choice to be a great coworker. And you make a choice to be a great listener. Listener. And you go to your job and you don't take advantage of anything there, but you put forth the type of effort that make people believe that you are part owner of that company. Now imagine clocking out at 5 p.m. 
knowing you are not part owner of that company and it's only a Monday and you're going to do the same thing four days, but you are so inspired by being a great worker. You are so dedicated to advancing society that you work hard as you can and you put your money in the pot and you got a retirement plan that's set up and you work every weekend and when you off on the weekend, you spend time with your friends and your family and you appreciate them and they appreciate you. And when the world shut down and we had to find out who's essential workers, it wasn't the salary makers. It wasn't the business owners. It was the nine the five workers that stood in the paint in the middle of a world shutdown and said, you know what? We are going to be here for you in the best way that we know how. Nine to five workers. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. And I would be nothing without you. And nothing goes above you. I promise.